Okay, well, I forgot my stand. And that's 100 yards, okay? All right? 200, 300, four. I'm shooting as a little, I can't zoom this in far enough to see it, but it's a little goat, a hanging, swinging goat. So I just zeroed baby girl in, and it took me 40, 70, well, actually I've got like uh, about 10, 10, 11 rounds. So it took me about 50, 40. Yeah, about 50, 60 rounds to get it zeroed in. Now, actually, I shot up here a lot. I shot right here. I shot up to about like 15, you know, 30 up to 50 yards. You see these rocks? When I zeroed in and hitting this, shooting this, the stand, I was going to put a target up. I'm going to put a target up here now, but I don't have my stand to show you guys. So when I'm recording, when I'm doing this, you can see me, you know, but... All the way up there, without and with my magnifier, there's a little hanging goat between two poles. You got those goats and those deers and everything, elk, way up top, right up underneath the mezzanine. There's one up there, and then there's a little round one. So I got it zeroed in, tagging these. So I was hitting this and hit here. So the rebar, and I was shooting that and shooting this rock to, for uh, you know to zero it in and then I started aiming for certain points in the dirt now when you use it on one finger with a thumb up trigger pull and you take a you take a deep breath and expel ex expel the breath it's very calm and you put the butt tight into your into your meat area you really don't get a lot of um infrared or what do you call it red um the fanning. So I was able to look through the magnifier and see, and besides hearing the thwack every time I hit. So that was, uh, to be calm and doing it is just beautiful. Um, you know, you get a little angst and you want to be, get it done quick. You know, sometimes it can take up to 120, 150 rounds. Some people, 20 or 30. Depends on, you know, these are actually excellent sights. So, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, she's zeroed in beautifully. Um, she's marvelous. I was going to just set it up, and I, I was trying to figure out. I mean, I got stuff I could set it up, and just and you know what? Let's do it like this. I'm gonna take one more shot. It's kind of cool. The wind's picking up a little bit, but uh, only that. Get something small. I just got my tool box. I got my tool bag here, and uh, I'll t I'll set that up, and it's in my tool besides a tourniquet and head scarf and face mask like you know for muscle gas and shit like that so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and you might be able to hit a thwack so let's go ahead hopefully the concussion won't um you know damage uh, mess anything up oh come on Get, you know let's sit over here damn it let's sit over here ain't nobody here but me yeah, we're, we're live, okay? So, that's all you need to know. All right, let's go ahead. I use some very cheap sights to, these are for like 15, 30, 30 yards, these red laces. I got the regular one that go real far, but we just zeroed it in. So, let's go ahead and, uh... all right, without the um magnifier, we're on safe, so we're going off safe. Pull in tight. <laughs> the magnifier on. <sighs> Safety still off. We're going up a little higher. We're at about three, four hundred yards. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> now let's go back to 200. 
Let's set it down. I don't have a, I'm just going to use the tabletop here. A little steady. She's good. She ready like Freddy. So now I can go ahead, put some Loctite on it. It won't throw it off. Let's do it. make sure this uh, red light's off, excuse me. And uh, I don't like putting, I don't like Loctite in anything until I'm sure it's locked in and then I can always go back. So I'm gonna Loctite, put the, put the Loctite on and uh, yeah, she's good. Definitely got to put the lock tight. Don't want it on green. I want it off, dude. I got it on green. You got to hit both of them to turn it off. So I hate doing this. There we go. It's not hard. We got it on a green dot. Red does the best during the day, green at night, guys. Okay? Green sucks ass a day. There we go. So she's money. Don't want this to get adjusted or messed up. She's locked in. I got I got locked out at home. I'm gonna stop picking up a new one. That was kind of old. And um, I'm gonna lock her down. I got my wrench, my tools, and everything. She's gonna stay this way. We're popping her out 500 yards easily. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Somebody's getting down. So all this is gonna get locked tight. She's a beauty. She runs. Let's throw this up with the uh, lens cover over her. And I, I just wanted to share that guys with you, okay? Sighting, sighting a rifle in is not hard. It depends on what kind of scope you got. Some of them you have to do math. I mean, you really do. Um, unless you're just really good, you know, backwards. Unless you're just really, really good at, um, you know, you don't really need the math. You know what I mean? So. This is the magnifier. I've got to tighten it from this side. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And let's give her a tight down and boom, I'm good. Go get something to eat. This weather, a lot of people can get sick in it. Uh, I'm not worried about it. But I'm going to holler at you guys later, man. And uh, let me let, get this a little tight down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, baby. That's it. So now I can lock tight this shit down. And um, she's good. So my build, perfect, man. Sweep up these rounds. Yeah, man, she's perfect, bro. Tools up. All right. You know what? I need the bigger one. Actually, let me see. Fuck yeah. That's tight. Fuck yeah. And I'll clean her up tonight. I want to keep my baby girl kind of clean. I ain't put a lot of rounds through her, but it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just the way it is.
Because you get a bunch of them. 22s. All right. Why do you guys be so damn late? We're going to come out here and shoot and fuck everybody else. You always get those people. A lot of 22 rounds. I don't want them, though. Shit, I got thousands and thousands of rounds of 22. Fuck that shit. I don't want no more though. Trust me. Let somebody leave some five, five, six, and two, two, three out. I'll gladly take that off their hand. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's a 44 mag. I don't need that either. Shoot, no clean up shit. You got, you got those people, man, that just don't give a fuck about nothing, man. Now, I got a man cave. My, you can tell there's a man living there. For sure. I'm clean, though. Don't get it fucked up. I'm cluttery. Not cluttery, 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 but I'm cluttery. By some people's eyes, but not really. But it's a man cave. You can say it's man shit. Not bad, you know what I mean? Someone would be like, oh, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be like, yeah, okay, whatever, man. Even I'd be like, wait a minute. Because, I, you know, it's not in my military mind. Them days, you know? Fuck yeah. <sighs> it's also it's good to have some more because you never know when you... Might say in that case, it might want to shoot or challenge you. Shit happens. All right? Trust me. Me? I'm not worried about it. Somebody left these here, bro. Somebody left these here, but you know what we do? We leave them right the fuck where they for. You don't take something off the launch here. All right, so we're good to go. Whoo, child. I need some more sunlight. Fuck this. So... Chocolate, you, what do you think? She needs a bath, right? <laughs> she needs a good old washing, man. But I ain't washing yet because they're talking about some more rain and stuff. So that was really good. So I'll holler at y'all in a little bit.